Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another DIY video. Uh, this time we're going to be transforming a silk dressing gown. So if you want to see how to transform a silk dressing gown, then please keep watching. Okay, so this is the dressing gown that we're going to be transforming. I bought this one off eBay. It cost me like, I want to say three or four pound maybe. Um, they had loads of different ones. Ones are like bride and stuff embroidered, but obviously not getting married, so that doesn't apply to me. Um, but yeah, so I just bought this plain white dressing gown. It's quite long, I think, um, for a dressing gown, maybe, because my black one's a little bit shorter. But yeah, the belt's not the longest belt in the world, I'd say. Like, it, it's quite a small bow. Um, but it's really comfy, so I've already washed this um, and ironed it, because it was all crumpled up once it first came. So this is freshly washed and ironed. Um, it's got quite wide sleeves, but that's fine, and they're not full length. But basically thinking of putting some fluff around the bottom, some fluff around the sleeves, and then some diamante stuff here, and also on the back. It's sort of what I'm thinking about doing. So, yeah, let's get, let's get making it pretty. <laughs> so for this DIY, as well as the dressing gown, you are gonna need some fabric glue, some rhinestones, some white cotton, needles, scissors, some white fluff. I bought two meters off eBay. Again, everything will be linked in the description below. And also a dotting tool or a pen or like a makeup brush or something just to pick up the rhinestones with. So that'll make it easier. So this is everything you need as well as a dressing gown. So like the first part of this DIY, I thought that we would do the like crystallization bit first. I thought the dressing gown would lay more flat if the fluff wasn't on it yet. So for this, what I was kind of thinking is basically writing my name on the back of the dressing gown in crystals. So I have these little rhinestones that I bought off eBay. They just come in a wheel and they've got loads of different sizes in them. So I'll use the big ones first and then like obviously if I need the smaller ones, so I run out the big ones, I'll just use them. So I was thinking of writing my name on the back in those crystals. So what I've done is I've printed off my name in like a sort of right handwriting font, like a bit bit more scripty rather than like just plain like normal writing I don't know how to explain that but you know I'm trying to say like make it a bit more like fancy um so literally to do this all I did was write my name on a word document and find the font that I liked and then I put that on an A4 piece of paper and then just printed it off in black and white because it is a white dressing gown I'm hoping that I'll be able to see like the black lettering underneath so then I can just sort of follow that that's sort of my plan with this that like, i don't really know how well it's gonna go so what i'm gonna do is put the dressing gown on top of the piece of paper with the rhinestones and the fabric glue and the dotting tool then just add all the rhinestones to hopefully make my name okay so as you can see it does show through quite easily which is good i've kind of just held it down like my laptop my mirror my makeup brush holder and a water bottle just so it stays straight and flat so it's easier to work with um, I'm probably going to have to give this an iron after I'm done, but that's fine. Um, so next, we're going to start by putting some rhinestones onto a little piece of paper and just sort of dotting them and following this as an outline. So let's get started. Okay, so I've done three letters and I've got three more left. Right, as you can see, we have now finished, which is super exciting. I'm just waiting for the glue to dry. I added a few more small ones at the top of the G just to like balance it out more. But yeah, that took me like a good two hours, I'd say. So yeah, you definitely need one or two wheels of the rhinestone, depending on how long your name is. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So we're just gonna let this dry for a bit, let the glue dry, and then we'll get on with the other detailing. So whilst this is dry, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure up the fluff against the sleeves and the bottom bit. I think I might have ordered slightly too less. So we're gonna try and make it work, but I suggest ordering 2.5 meters and not two meters if you do this. But yeah, I'm just gonna measure it up and 
let's see how much I'm gonna So what I'm gonna do, my rhinestones are still drying up there, but I'm gonna take the fluffy bit and just loosely sew it all across the bottom. I'm gonna do it only on a loose stitch at the moment just so that if I do run out, I can sort of like adjust my alterations of how much I need. So first just take some white cotton, a needle and run it all along the bottom. Okay, so now we have finished sewing the white fluff to the bottom of the dressing gown. We just need to trim this bit off and start doing the same to the arms. Okay, so I've now cut the remaining bit of fur in half, but because I don't have enough to cover the entire sleeve, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it around the top bit. Um, so there's only gonna be a tiny bit left at the bottom which isn't covered, but then that will be the bit that's against your arm, so hopefully you won't really see it. Okay, so I have just tried it on and I'm actually obsessed with it. Um, I sent a picture to my friends, one of them said I look like a bride. But I thought like, I have a black silk dressing gown so why not make a white one a bit more like bougie, you know? Um, so this is a dressing gown. I've got gym shorts on under, just cause it is a little bit see-through. So yeah, but this is there. The fluff at the bottom, fluffy sleeves. I love it. And then your name on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, can you see it? A little bit closer, maybe. Um, but yeah, I I love it. I'm obsessed, I, and it was so easy to do. Well, I say easy. Yeah, it was easy. Um, it took me like three hours in total to do all of this, but I really like the end result, and I'm really happy with how I made it. And it literally costs like maybe under 15 quid for all of this. Um, like everything I used, so so cheap, and I think such a nice sort of end result. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this because this was so fun to make and I know what I'm going to be wearing for the rest of lockdown, oh, it's going to be this, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial on a DIY satin dressing gown makeover type thing, but yeah. Right guys, so that is the end of the transformation. I hope you guys did enjoy it and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.